This video will show you how to use some of the geometry tools on Desmos. Uh, the first thing we will look at is drawing a polygon, and specifically for this video we will look at a quadrilateral. So in our menu options here we have a polygon. I will click that, and you will just have to click in four different places to create your quadrilateral. Once you're done, it has little directions over here, but it's telling me, okay, I've drawn my quadrilateral, choose another point or click an existing point to finish. So I'll just click this last point I drew. Now, say I wanna make sure that this quadrilateral has specific measurements. What I will do is click on an actual, uh, click the select tool and then click on an actual length and click label. So for each one of these lengths, we will click Label. And Label. So now, if I want to create a quadrilateral that has side lengths of three, I can click and drag until I have my side lengths of three. Now, sometimes it's really hard to get an exact length. So 2.99 is pretty close to three and would be acceptable. Over here, oh, I actually got a three, and there's a three. And right here, 2.99 again is okay, and but I want three over here. Those should work out okay. Now, sometimes if you come over to this little wrench here, you can add a grid to the background. Depending on what you're drawing, that grid might help with your exact measurements or it might not. I'm going to leave it off for now just so that it doesn't become a distraction. Okay, so that's how to draw a polygon and label the side lengths. You might also be interested in angle measures. So we'll look at an angle. So drawing an angle, I'm going to just do three points. And if you notice, a little angle measure comes up in the middle of the three points where I drew my center. So what I want to do, though, is actually be able to see my angle a little better. So I'm going to, again, go back to the Select tool, hit Segment, and connect to the lines that I made before. All right, again, we can measure those. Um, you can also with the select tool, click outside and drag and it will select everything for you. So then we will um, label all of that. <clears throat> you might have to check, uncheck label and then label it again so everything gets labeled. All right, um, the last thing to talk about is if we want to delete something. So to delete something, you have to first select it so maybe I don't want this, um, this numerical label here. So then once I select it, the option comes up over here to delete. Okay. All right, those should be all of the tools we need in order to complete this task.